Okay, so here we have a P1 practice paper A paper, which I have compiled from various sources to give some more practice to my students who are doing the new course for the um, new IAL syllabus. Okay, so this question here is about um, simplifying something in third form. So we've got to take this fraction, 6 root 3 minus 4 divided by 8 minus root 3, and we've got to simplify it and give it in the form mentioned P root 3 minus Q. So what we need to do is rationalize the denominator here. So we have 6 times root 3, 6 times root 3, um, minus 4, divided by 8 minus root 3. Now if I want to rationalize the denominator, I have to get rid of this root from the denominator. So you have something here which is like composite made up of a, a normal number and a number in third form. If you multiply it by its conjugate, which is the same numbers but the opposite sign, what will happen is it will cause the square root to disappear when you expand that. But what you do to the and denominator of a fraction you must do the same thing to the numerator otherwise it won't remain the same value so I've now multiplied both top and bottom by the same thing but that thing is going to cause the denominator to become rationalized if you see what's going to happen here you're going to end up with 64 minus 3 because 8 times 8 is 64 then you'll have 8 root 3 and then you'll have minus 8 root 3. Well, 8 root 3 minus 8 root 3 gives you 0. And then you have root 3 times root 3. Well, minus root 3 times plus root 3, which will be minus 3. If you multiply root 3 by itself, you get 3. Um, so that will be the denominator with no third in it, no square root in it. So it's rationalized now. So it will rationalize the denominator. Then we have to expand the numerator. So you have 6 root 3 times 8. 6 8 is 48. So that's 48 times root 3. Okay, and then you have 6 root 3 times 4 times root 3. Now 6 root 3 times root 3 is going to give you 6 times 3. So that's plus 6 times 3. Root 3 times itself is 3, if you remember. And then that's, we finish with the 6 root 3. Now minus 4 times 8. 4, 8 is 32. So minus 4 times 8 is minus 32. And you have minus 4 times root 3, which is minus 4 root 3. So let's simplify this now. On the numerator we have... 48 minus 4, which is 44. So we have 44 times root 3. And we have 6 times 3 is 18. That's 18. 18 minus 32. Okay, 18 minus 32 is going to be, I think it's 24. Let's make sure. 18 minus 32. Oops, minus, not divided by. That's going to be minus 14, sorry. So that's minus 14, of course. 18 minus 32, yes, minus 14. So you have minus 14, not 24. And that's all over 64 minus 3, which is 61. Okay, so now um, in the form P, root 3 minus Q. So we've got to separate into two separate fractions. You have 44 over 61 times root 3 minus 14 over 61. And... Positive rational numbers. Okay, good. P and Q, they're both positive. Yes, that's 14 over 61. Now, does any number go into 61? I don't think so. So I think that those are the simplest form. And there we have the answer to question number one.